A few episodes ago, total shocker that Rebecca, you know, was leaving New Orleans. In what capacity would you love to see Rebecca come back? You know, what's nice is that she kind of wrote off, so I think it's always open to see what that storyline, you know, what happens with that. Um, I don't know. She's. I, I want to know where she went. I hope she had like, crazy adventures in Europe. I don't, that's what I would do if I was an immortal vampire. <laughs> an original can never die, so I think that in itself keeps the door open. Claire's such a great actress and she's such a fun person to be around so I think I mean I think it's definitely potential for her to come back so keep watching. In your fantasy scenario how would you like to see her come back to the show? Well, I want to see her come back in all of the ways that you would imagine for a show like ours. So for example we've seen characters in flashback. I would love to do some flashback episodes where we see the family in different eras and what the relationship was like not long after they became vampires in the 1400s, you know, where we met them in season four of Vampire Diaries. Um, you know, maybe even um, in other periods, like where was Elijah after they fled New Orleans? Because we know where Rebecca and Cos Exactly. So I'd, I'd love to see, you know, some of that stuff. I think also, you know, there's an opportunity for um, Rebecca to appear in visions. You know, if someone gets bit by a werewolf or if someone is spelled by a hex, hallucinations, we could see, you know, Rebecca appear. But I also think ultimately we want Rebecca to show up back in the show at some point and, and have a say in what's going on, not only with the relationship between Klaus and Elijah, but with both brothers' relationship with New Orleans and what that might mean for Marcel. So there's definitely a lot going on. The brothers aren't going anywhere. I think we'll see Rebecca in all kinds of different ways, but ultimately having her return to New Orleans would be my Okay. Dream scenario. Right? Good, that makes me happy. I think the beautiful thing that happened to Rebecca when she left is that she got her first taste of freedom that she's been talking about on the Vampire Diaries and she's been talking about all year in the originals is I just want to live, you know? She wanted to be human on the Vampire Diaries. She wants a family. She wants all those things. And I'd like to think that she's off there trying to get them. And I think when we see her again, it will be, you know, an interesting question for us to ask, like, well, what did you do with your time off? Like, is it one of those horrible codependent relationships where you're like, I'm out, I'm gone. And then you're finally like, gosh, I'm bored. You know, what am I going to do without my crazy brothers? Um, or, or did she, you know, buy a nice house with a white picket fence in the suburbs and meet a nice dentist, you know? Exactly. And of course, Davina, we've seen strides for her. She's growing in her power. She's making a comeback. Yes. Can you elaborate on what we'll see from her for the rest of the season? Um, I think for the rest of the season, I mean, you've seen her so far getting used as a pawn in everyone's game. So I think the rest of the season, she's kind of starting to harness her power and take control for once. And I think that's really exciting for me to play her as an actress. And um, I think, I mean, Monique has been playing the mean girl very well as also. So I think Davina is kind of trying to figure out how to work that as well. So when I came to visit the set, you had your little baby bump, which is definitely growing and growing. Are we going to be seeing a baby this season? Are we going to be hearing the cries of a little one? I hope so. I hope by the finale that happens. It would be really nice. I just want to see Klaus holding a baby. I think it'll be so beautiful to see this character. It's kind of such a villain have such a human moment with a child as a father, I think it would be really nice. And I know you've seen the script for the finale episode, but you haven't shot it yet, so you kind of have an idea of what's going to go down. Yeah. How are we going to feel when the season ends? Are there going to be a lot of new questions? Are there going to be answers? I think that uh, when, the, when it ends, I think everyone's just going to be staring like just jaw dropped and um, I mean I, I read it and I was like it was like I was ripping my hair out because it's just it's just there's so much action and there's so much drama and just everything kind of just makes you anxious in a way it's it's really exciting I'm so happy I can't wait until May I have a little while <laughs> there's a lot of really really powerful stuff that happens at the end of the original season between the um, all the factions having made their big move and try to get control of the quarter it tears apart a lot of relationships and it actually puts a lot of people's lives in some fairly extreme jeopardy so um, you, you kind of it's a guessing game up to the, ba the bitter end of who's gonna see the other side of it and who we're gonna you know who we're gonna hang on to for season two I know I know no, team Josh, Team know, Josh. So you guys are sharing the carpet with the Vampire Diaries. Yes. Um, if you were to switch over to the Vampire Diaries, which role would you like to take on? I think Candace does a really great job at, um, at yeah, Caroline. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a really fun role to play. And she seems to kind of, she's, she, but she nails it. I mean, she does a really, really great job. But I think that'd be a really fun role.